had this whole family that were part of this bigger thing fighting for better so that someone like me can walk around the East End of London with freedom, not looking over my shoulder and having the stress that they went through. If we look at this document, which is the polling for St. George's Street from 1936. He's living at, what is that, 16? St. George's Street. This is largely a non-Jewish area, but it's also an area with a, a strong hostility to the newcomers. There are riots against the Jews settling in the area at the turn of the century. I can't even begin to imagine what that feels like, living with that fear every single day. For an older generation, so for, for Phil G's parents, they may have the memories of the pogroms in Eastern Europe. My family had fled Lithuania because of that fear to come to a place where they felt they were safe again and could have that kind of freedom, but now they're experiencing it all over again. Absolutely. So there's an atmosphere of fear but alongside that, there's also communal solidarity. So on the 4th of October, 1936, Sir Oswald Mosley, a British aristocrat who is the leader of the British Union of Fascists, is taking his own private army and threatening to march through the Jewish sections of the East End. And this is a report from the Jewish Chronicle. The people said no. On Sunday, fascism received the greatest blow that it has yet had in this country. For months, the British Union of Fascists have been so in the seas of anti-Semitic hate in East London. The procession would have to go along Cable Street. The only alternative would be St George's Street, so right in the heart where my family are. Yeah. So this is a newsreel of that day. 5,000 fascists rally to their mobilization for the march through the East End. And Sir Oswald Mosley, Blackshirt leader, arrived to inspect his followers. Communists, Labourites and Jews jammed the fascist route, resisting the peaceful efforts of the outnumbered police to clear the way. Battens are drawn and heads broken as the anti-fascist demonstrators resist efforts to disperse them. To avert serious bloodshed, the march was in band. Altogether, 84 rioters are taken into custody while the police firmly prevent the man from taking an uglier turn. 80 injured are taken to hospital. Hundreds more receive first aid on the spot. That makes it all, like, real, really, when you see those images and the amount of bloodshed and the fighting. And it could have been literally... Like on their doorstep. On their doorstep. And there's a report in the Daily Herald on the 5th of October. Cable Street, Stepney, a crowd of men dragged a lorry from a builder's yard and started to build a barricade. When the police tried to stop the men, they were greeted by a hail of stones. The police made a baton charge and cleared the road. This is why it is called the Battle of Cable Street. And the battle is not with the fascists, but with the police who are trying to pave the way through. I feel that sense of victory. <laughs> they didn't get through. So we shouldn't generalise, but there's quite a bit of anti-Semitism reported of police attacking Jews and arresting them for very little reason. Your great-grandfather, whilst it's possible that he may have been attacked by fascists, it's more likely that he would have been um, hit by the police. Police-minority relations have tensions uh, way before today. It does give me this sense of, actually, pride um, to know that my family went through that. This was a very, very proud moment in British history as well as East End history. And so the struggle continues yeah. against fascism, against racism, but this is an indication of what people together could achieve. I think that's why I've always been so proud to be from the East End and I never hide that because I've loved growing up in such a diverse community. Just down the road from the bakery in Shadwell, is a commemoration of the Battle of Cable Street. The amount of times that I've walked past here, even as a young girl going to school, 
didn't understand anything about it, didn't care to even look, to be honest. So to be here and understand my mum's family were a part of that is something special.